What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's support rap uh, video. That's right, it's no longer the daily rap, it's support rap because apparently the overarching theme this work week is support. Support the stream, support the stream, support the stream. That's right, and Phil wants to make sure that everyone knows to support the stream. Uh, on the first two, on the playthroughs, uh, he played uh, the PayPal simulator with a little bit of Starfield. And then on the night stream, he played uh, the PayPal simulator again with a little bit of Chrono Trigger. Now he actually went on like an eight minute rant about Chrono Trigger, which your boy just removed because uh, the playthrough is garbage and that rant is garbage. So I, um, I made sure you guys didn't suffer through that, but there were some interesting little tid points here that I wanted to talk about. So let's get into the support rap. So all a very different level one podcast. Didn't have any real news to talk about. Didn't really have anything to recap from a day off. So instead it was mostly interacting uh, with the audience, just having good conversation and back and forth fun in that regard. It was a pretty good podcast, you know, because of that, it was a more relaxing one. And I like doing those. I like the fact that on any given day, whether I have a huge agenda of things to talk about or really nothing, we could still have a great time together and enjoy the show. So it went pretty well. And then we jumped back into Star Okay, so uh, I need to stop it here really quickly. So I, I love how Phil makes it seem like this is the first time in six months where he had a he had a time to chill on his podcast and didn't have much to talk about. Phil, this is every single day. Every single day, it seems like your Q&A session gets longer and longer. Matter of fact, yesterday's Q&A was 50 minutes, Phil. And at that, you ran late. You ran late. You, you decided to shut the podcast down around 3.45. I understand, Phil, that you get most of your donations via the podcast and you need to keep it on and keep it going as long as you can to make sure that, you know, people throw those dollar and two dollar tips your way. I understand that, Phil. But 50 minutes of Q&A, 50 minutes. And at that, you do it every single day. This isn't something like, oh, once a week, it's slow. So you have an extended Q&A. No, it's every single day, Phil. What you need to do, Phil, please, for the love of God. For the love of duty, just cut your podcast short. If you only have 30 minutes of content, just make it 30 minutes and then do your gameplay. Don't stretch it out to an hour and a half when it's unnecessary. Okay, let's keep going. Starfield. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to think we did quite a bit of good stuff in Starfield. Um, continued on with the Paradiso quest line and finished up with that quest line of the human settlers who were arriving at, this, at the planet and wanted to live there but the people already owned the planet and had the rights to it so they didn't want them to live there so we had a little bit of figuring out what to do with them um <clears throat> had a continuation of the plot line that had to do with the trees at new atlantis um we went and actually did a big rescue mission we went back to the original planet that the game had started on the mining planet to see what happened to barrett remember barrett was a member of the constellation crew that had you know landed there to see this artifact that we had found while mining and he had stayed behind. And now we had done all these hours and hours of gameplay. Gee, what happened to him? We go back and found out there was a big mission there, of rescue and all kinds of stuff there. So we did that. Um, actually ended up on a couple different new planets. One I think was called Hope. I want to say it was Hope Port. And the other one was um, like Aquila City. And both were completely different styles of settlements. We did uh, quest lines in each. In fact, I joined a new faction and have begun doing missions for the F the Freestar Collective faction, I believe it's called. Um, lots of speech challenges, lots of lock picking, some leveling of those abilities. So overall today, all right, I kind of stayed away from the things that up to this point have really been annoying me. Instead, we focused on the narrative and the story structure and the branching paths and the fun parts that make Bethesda RPGs great. And today was a really good stream. Like, I had a lot of fun. Everyone watching seemed to enjoy. It was basically Bethesda at their best, okay? Luckily, that happened the whole stream because, as you know, there's been other streams where we have, like, a whole hour of frustration trying to figure out something new they threw into this game that wasn't in previous Bethesda games that really doesn't work very well. We didn't really have to struggle with that today, and that was obviously a good thing. But I will say this. <clears throat> For me right now, the ongoing frustration is the whole research and upgrades and those kind of crafting systems, they seem way too complicated. I mean, at this point now, okay, to give you an example, I am currently 17 hours into Starfield and 
I don't have anything but like a very basic crafting level for anything. Um, I can't really modify weapons that well. I can't really craft many useful items. I, I guess the game is meant to be at a minimum of 60 hours long, so maybe I'm only being a third in, that's why. But you would think by now, especially because one of my specialties, my class started with level one research. See, they all got a head start on everyone else. The research is like insanely slow in this game. <clears throat> it almost seems like the only way to get research going is to have a spe specified research class where all you're doing is putting all your efforts into the research trees and that's it because I'm upgrading things like lock picking and persuading and I already bought one or two things with piloting ships so I haven't bought any further levels like of research and because of that I feel like I've kind of hit a wall and I'm getting all these resources and everything and I'm gathering all this inventory and loot and I'm not doing anything with it. So it does feel kind of stagnant in that regard. Outside of that though, like everything I did today quest-wise was very fun and I had a great time with that. Okay, Phil. Well, the one thing I keep saying, and I'm not sure how many times I keep saying, I have to say this to you, Phil, is that you are underleveled. You are underleveled. You're currently at level 10. Your character is at level 10, Phil. And when you when you pick your character and the attributes and stuff where you get to select, you know, uh, you know, uh, gastronomy, science, whatever, that only gives you a small boost, Phil. It gives you a boost of like 5%. It, it's not a lot. And at the very end, you can probably max it out to about maybe 15 or 20%. It, it's not supposed to make you this wizard, okay, Phil? It's just supposed to give you a little bit of boost. And the concept of the game is, yes, to level up certain aspects, not to just focus on one specific thing. For example, my build, I'm focusing more on uh, my physique. So, uh, res uh, so, so uh, weight training, uh, oxygen levels, uh, those type of things so that I can carry more stuff and have more more oxygen. So that's my focus. I'll focus on research and all that later on, Phil. Again, you've what, played 14 hours of this game and a lot of it has just been side content. Do the main missions, Phil. Just focus on the main missions. Level up your character. That, that's another thing too. You're level, well, I don't understand why you're so slow in leveling up your character. Level up your character, get those experience points, and then you can you can increase, you know, you can spec out your character a little bit better. The other thing, Phil, is that when 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 you craft stuff, m most of the harder stuff require uh, uh, require certain items that are hard to get. So they're they're um, uh, they're resources that are hard to find. You don't have those resources, Phil. That that's why you can't craft anything. That's why you can. not And those resources are pretty much found in. Uh, later on down the story when you visit other galaxies and planets Phil. That's the reason why you haven't been able to um, it, it, it Do the do do the um, You know do the scientific pieces. That's why but of course since you refuse to research anything or look anything up You don't know this you just have to sit here and and rely on well the game is stupid No, Phil you're stupid you, you are really because looking this up doing a quick Google search Would have told you everything I just said in a matter of five minutes Also, another awesome thing today, incredibly supportive day. Second day in a row, people were supporting the streams very well, whether it was Super Chats, memberships, gifted memberships, and tips, great today. So thank you so much. I mean, two days into the week, we already had an outstanding start. I'm very happy with this. So hopefully this momentum can stay going. Um, thank you so guys so very much. I really appreciate that. Now, tomorrow is Sunday, and you know what that means. Tomorrow is React Day. So tomorrow in the morning, we will have a regular Level 1 podcast here on DSP Gaming at 10.45 a.m. Pacific Time. But then around 12.45 p.m., we're going to switch over to DSP Reacts for three hours of reacting to clips that the members of the channel have nominated. In fact, the moment I finish recording this and I start uploading, I'm going to jump over and make the playlist for tomorrow's show. So... That'll be a fun, you know, three hours of reacting to fun clips from all over the internet. Always a good variety of stuff. Hope you guys will join me for that and hopefully support that stream. As I talked about last week, yeah, the React stuff is fun, but especially this month, it looks like we're not doing any other specialty stuff there. So I'm really going to need some help supporting live during those streams because that's the only real support I get for the channel. I don't make ad revenue on those videos. No exaggeration. Five out of the six videos I uploaded last week for DSP versus the internet, I made nothing on. Okay, so I know a, f a few of you uh, posted in my uh, comment section the other day when I when I went off on Phil. Get get ready for me to go off again. No, you fucking moron. Stop saying that. Stop saying that you're not making any money on these videos. You're fucking lying. 
You're lying. Please stop saying that because you sound like a fucking idiot, Phil. You may not be making ad revenue, but what you are making are memberships. You're making money on those memberships. And how many memberships do you currently have? About 150. You times that up by three bucks. You, you're getting about 450, 500 bucks. And I know you have a couple ultra memories there. So let's just round that up with 500 bucks. That's what you're getting, Phil, for this React content. How much do you get in tips? You get about 30 or 50 bucks in tips per, per stream. Okay. So you time that out, you're making about, you know, let's say $150 at the end of the month for tips. Super chats, how many super chats do you get? How many? Right. So that sounds like you're making fucking income, Phil. You're making money on this content. So you really need to stop saying that you're not getting any fucking income from these streams and from these videos. You are, okay, Phil? You are. You knew when you created this channel that you weren't going to get any ad revenue because a lot of the stuff you're going to be viewing was, was, was being claimed. And you specifically stated that to your viewers that you know that we're going to be claimed. So the support would be coming in the form of memberships. When that didn't pan out for you, then you started harping on uh, tips and super chats. When that didn't pan out, then you started harping on ad revenue. When that didn't work out, then you circle back again to memberships and gift it, gift the membership fill. So just because you're not making the amount of money you thought you were going to be making on this channel doesn't matter phil how about you put how about you give more fucking content to this stupid channel instead of a weekly show that you carve up into nine sh nine different episodes and then sprinkle it out through the, throughout the week whatever happened in that interview show that you were supposed to do phil what happened to that long react content monthly that you were supposed to do oh no you stopped doing that because you knew it was going to bring you any money right phil Okay, so please stop fucking saying that you're not making money off of this content, all right, Phil? Because you sound like a fucking idiot and you're pissing me off that you keep saying this bullshit. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.